with the title Feel the Fear and Blow It Up Anywhere. Michael Cronin. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, on a recent night out in the pub, I said to my din girlfriend that the Irish male has just one major fault in his genetic makeup. <laughs> she looked at me intensely and responded, Really, Mike? Only one? <laughs> I rephrased, The Irish male has many major faults in his genetic makeup, but today I can only speak to you about one. And that's our unwavering belief that we can manage any piece of machinery without reading the instruction manuals. <laughs> I can even see it in myself. I recently took delivery of a new laptop computer from Dell. A lovely shiny pink one. <laughs> and along with it came an instruction manual that was the size of the Old Testament. I put it to the side saying, it can't be that difficult. <laughs> Besides, I can drive a tractor. <laughs> now this is all fine until you have a problem. And the problem solving skills I learned were the ones I learned many years ago as a small boy. When you took the different shapes and put them into the appropriate places. <laughs> And when the circle doesn't fit into the square, you belt it with your plastic hammer. <laughs> it gives a whole new meaning to squaring the circle. <laughs> but alas, laptops don't respond well to plastic hammers. <laughs> and you sit there frightened and flummoxed. What will I do? Then it comes to me. You lean forward, switch it off, let it rest for a few minutes, <laughs> switch it back on, and it might have forgotten its problem. <laughs> now, after trying this for 17 times, <laughs> the words of the late Dennis Thatcher come to mind. When all else fails, read the instructions. <laughs> Now, for most of us here, I guess it's just a case of getting up, going over to our filing cabinet, and just laying our hand in it. We'd have a better chance of finding Shergar. <laughs> Being ridden by Lord Lucan. <laughs> and if we are lucky enough to find the instruction manual, it will have a two-inch circle in indentation on the cover, because it was serving the very useful purpose of stopping the table from rocking. <laughs> and it's unreadable. I had to seek outside help. Now, we probably all know one person that's into this kind of machinery stuff. Now, normally you wouldn't associate with them because you'd think they're a bit weird. <laughs> but when you're in trouble, they're your new best friend. <laughs> it's like Gordon Brown bringing back Peter Mendelssohn. Now, when you approach this person, you treat it as if you were a little young boy going into confession. <laughs> you tell him the things that are safe to say. <laughs> the, s the small things. <laughs> you leave out the whoppers. <laughs> like there was a smell of burning coming out the back. When he's no use to you, you've nothing else to do, only face the unthinkable. A fate worse than eternal damnation. You have to ring the helpline. <laughs> or I prefer to call it the torture line. Please pr press an option that's most closely associated with your problem. One for X, two for Y, 
nine if you're going to go mental. <laughs> Why can't they just have simple everyday options? Like, your pet Rottweiler was chewing the top corner of the screen. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to speak to an agent. Your call is important to us. <laughs> All our agents are busy at the moment. But please hold while we try to connect you. Now, it's very important during this time that you're not sitting in front of a mirror. Because you see yourself growing old. <laughs> Even me. After about 20 minutes, you hear a voice and you launch into your tale of war. With all the enthusiasm of a God-fearing preacher. And what do you hear back on the line? I cannot understand you. <laughs> How could you not understand a person from Cork? I start again, speaking slowly and clearly. And after about four minutes, I'm addressed with the most profound and mind-blowing question that I ever heard. Have you the laptop plugged in? <laughs> Politely as I can, I thank him and put the phone down and say, it's probably easier by a new one. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe that's not such a bad idea. They're getting cheaper by the week. <laughs> so in the meantime, continue to press all the buttons. Pull out wires, pull in wires, even get the plastic hammer to it. <laughs> because there's nothing like feeling the fear and blowing it up anyway. <laughs> Mr. Panther, sir. <laughs>